Let's now take you back to our top story. Kenya's National Assembly has summoned Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich over a biting financial crisis that has hit the institution. So bad is the cash crunch that parliamentary staff have gone for months without pay, while critical parliamentary operations are almost grinding to a halt. Last week Friday, Parliament was in a blackout after Kenya Power disconnected electricity due to delays of settling bills. And MPs are blaming Treasury for precipitating the financial crunch in its slow pace of disbursing funds. Treasury is in the crosshairs of parliamentarians following a biting financial crisis that saw electricity disconnected in Parliament from Friday till Monday. It took the intervention of the head of public service and chief of staff, Joseph Kinyua, to order Kenya Power to restore electricity. Parliamentary staff have also gone for months without pay. The Parliamentary Service Commission says it lacks money to settle bills and pay its staff following a slow disbursement of funds by Treasury. The power, the Kenya Power guys came and disconnected power. Yet, yet, there's no money to pay. Actually, let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I, and I, I, want, I want, let us not bring politics here, it's a reality, it is known, let us not bring party politics here. Power was disconnected on Friday at 3.18 a.m. until Monday, Madam Speaker. It has never happened. Why would you wait until you have a bill of 10 million before you pay? Don't say you did not receive money, you've been receiving money, why didn't you pay power first before doing everything else? What are you selling us? This commission also has issues. I want to say I've been here for 15 years and this commission has issues. Reports indicate that PSC is grappling with how to raise money to pay staff salaries for August and September, settle service providers bills and ensure smooth operations of various committees. Sources indicate that some suppliers have given PSC an ultimatum to settle long-standing bills, failure to which they would withdraw their services. MPs decried that even money earmarked for development in their respective constituencies was still pending at Treasury. Enquiry indicates clearly that there is exchequer releases problems. And that is why even ministries cannot absorb. And the effect of that, Madam Speaker, I, I know many of us may not have financial background. The effect of that is a slowdown in economic growth. Staff go for months without salaries, critical operations, uh, are basically running to a halt and it appears, Madam Speaker, that the government is suffering, is experiencing some unprecedented financial crunch and yet we are not being told what is the cause of this financial crunch, Madam Speaker. The Madam Speaker, the other day I was here, I could not even visit the toilet because the toilet was closed, there was no water, no electricity and we know very well, Madam Speaker, Kenyans are paying taxes and KRA, as it collects taxes, the money goes to the Treasury. So the issue here is about Treasury. We need to be told by the CS Treasury, the PS Treasury, what is happening. Let us look at it objectively and ask the Budget Committee to, within this week, actually today or tomorrow, summon the Cabinet Secretary Treasury, the, uh, the Principal Secretary and the KRA to tell us why budget implementation, because this House has appropriated funds for the use of institutions and, 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 and different uh, agencies of government, why it is not happening as should be. Parliament has moted to summon Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich to appear before the House Finance and Budget Committee over the slow pace of money trickling down to institutions. MP is essentially putting blame on the financial crunch it's facing squarely on Treasury's doorstep. Samogina KTN News.